in the previous lesson, what we did is we made a, well, a behavior or attached a behavior to a navigational system that's internal, and we made our buttons kind of come to life. And we need to do that now for our main navigation system. But if you remember, we had kind of a quirk in that thing, in where we had to actually make it, we put it in the library. But in order to actually assign it to a page, we had to, well, detach it from the original, which is not the best thing in the world when you think about it because you lose control, but it makes sense when you think about it. It's a library item. It has to be controlled from the library. And I mentioned this before, there is always a way to get around something, but typically you don't want to quote unquote, get around something. You want to do it according to the rules and the regulations so it'll work right. Now, what we want to do now is we want to work on, let me open up index here. We want to work on this up here. Now that is a library item. So there's going to be, of course, a quirk in doing it that way too. Let's close this down, go into assets and open up main nav right here in the library, of course. Okay, there it is. Now that's the library item. So we can do things to it. We select it. We've got our links down here, which is exactly what we want. Every time we use it, it will have the same link. So why not do it here? So we've got that part done, but we want to bring it to life. And here's where the cork comes in. If we go up to the word window and go down to behaviors, you will notice that I can't add a behavior. The reason being is because we are in the library. Now, again, there are always ways to get around things, but we don't want to get around them. And it's not really that difficult. Okay. It's not that hard. Let's do this. Let's close out our library item, go and open up something new, file new, blank page, HTML, none. Now drag main nav over here. You ever hear the expression going around your elbow to get your thumb? In other words, you're wasting your time. We're not really, although it seems like kind of we're going around our elbow to get to our thumb here. Go ahead and detach it. Okay. It's saying, you know, you sure you want to do this? And I do. Now, if I want to, I can add behaviors. Okay. So I can do it now. So we're kind of doing it this way so we can get the behavior on so we can put it back in the library. So let's start with home. Now I do have down buttons for these are images. I'm going to click the plus sign right here. Swap image. Now I've already named these for us. So you can actually see the names up there. We are on home. We click browse. We come over here and we look in the alphabet H's and there it is home down, or as we like to say, down home, click open, click OK. And there it is. Now, if we do a live on this, well, there you go. Now, I'll tell you what, through the miracle of video, let me do one more. Turn off live if you want to do this. Let me do one more. Just swap that image. And again, facilities, browse. And we go into nav. And we look in the F's for facilities down and click open and click OK. Tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these for us. I'm going to compress the time down so you don't have to wait for me to do them. And then we'll talk about at the end, what do we do with it now that we've got it done? OK, now that took about three days. Actually, it took about five minutes. I've got them all done. If we go to live right up here we can see that indeed they work. Now, the good news is the contacts or the links are already there. Now, what do we do to get it back into the library? It's pretty easy to. Let's close this out. We don't need it right now. Let's turn off live. We don't need that. Go over into assets library and open up main nav. Now go up to the word window on the pull down menu and say tile. So I can see both at the same time. Go into main nav and select everything. You can do a control A on that. That's control A in Windows, command A on a Mac and just get rid of it. Come over here, do the same thing, select everything. And guess what? Drag it over. Are we having fun yet or what? This one we don't need anymore. We can close it and don't save it. We don't need to save it. Now we're back in the library with behavior added images with rollovers in the contacts or the links are already there. Go ahead and close it. And of course, it's going to say, you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do. And it's going to say, hey, I get to update all this stuff for you, of course. Okay, tells us everything has been done. Click close. And the proof of the pudding is in the testing. Let's open up index. Okay, let's go into our spinning globe. Actually, it's not spinning, but pick a browser. Yeah, there you go. They do work.
and they are, in a sense, alive. So once we've made it this way, understand the one thing we have to do, and you'll even actually get this same procedure if you go onto the Adobe site, is if you want to add behaviors to a library item, take it out of the library, work on it there, and then bring it back in to the library. And then you've got it. So we now have some internal navigation that's being controlled by Behavior Swap, and we have our main navigation system that, again, is being controlled by Behavior Swap. Let's go ahead and get rid of what we have and move on.